Hey folks, so you're about to watch a gold recovery or refining video. So this little section here is a common sense warning. So keep in mind that in all of these videos you're working with acids, which are dangerous. There is fumes, uh, so they're dangerous to your respiratory system, to your eyes, to your skin, um, any mucous membrane, so you know, go from there. With that being said, in this video, and in a lot of my videos, you'll notice that I'm not wearing a lot of the required protective gear. Um, the reason for that is because it's very difficult to mess with the camera, talk, and do all these things that I need to do to make the video, um, and wear all the stuff at the same time. So please understand that when I am not filming, I am in fact wearing all of this equipment. Okay, I, I do have you know the latex gloves. I have plastic apron, I've got um, a, a respirator, um, and a face shield. So these are all things that are in my shop, they've been there for a while, and they do get used, so um, please keep that in mind. If, in the, you know, off chance you want to try any of this stuff on your own, then please make sure that you use these items. So thanks, enjoy the video, and see you on the next one. Hey Scrappers, Moose here. Uh, so this video is going to be the second to last video that I'm going to do on gold recovery. Um, I'm still trying to get my fingers out of my butt to do the uh, IC chip one. Um, this one's going to be on um, those little gold foils that you find on like ink cartridges or the gold plated wire ends that you find. All processed the same way. Um, so I'm going to just put this all in same coffee pot here. Do not use this for coffee afterwards. So I've got all these foils in here. Now again, it takes a lot to make a little. So this, I'm pretty damn sure that I'm not even going to get a quarter of a gram out of. And that's probably uh, maybe a hundred foils from cartridges. Um, so it takes a lot, but it's like anything else. It adds up over time. So we're going to do this the same way that we process anything else in AP. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to scroll this down a little bit. All right. So I've got a little glass coffee pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some HCl. Just enough to cover it. Which happens to be the last of my jug. And then we're going to add... Peroxide. Now you're supposed to add the peroxide first. Um, you're supposed to add acid to water, not the other way around, just in case it splashes back. Um, but because this is such a small amount, I'm not going to fuss on it. As far as what quantity to add, some people say, you know, four to one ratio of you know, four parts HCl, one part peroxide. Honestly, you just need enough to get the reaction started. So. I mean, you'll, you'll see it. I mean, you, you mix it up, and within like 10 minutes, if the water starts to turn green, you've got enough. Once it starts turning green, there's enough in there to complete the whole process. You don't need to add anything else. Adding more might make it go quicker. Using an air bubbler would make it go quicker, um, but this will still get the job done. So it's, it's mitigating your cost versus the outcome. Now, is this going to be worth it? You know, I paid eight bucks for this gallon and one dollar for this bottle and I'm using it to recover gold from um, one pound of trimmed fingers over a pound of other gold plated boards um, my little experiment with sim cards and this so with just the trim fingers I'm more than gonna pay for the chemicals I'm gonna make like 80 bucks off that um, so everything else is you know, just gravy all right so So that's it. We're going to check back on this a little later and see how it's going. Alrighty, so we're going to follow up on the uh, picture of the printer ribbons and stuff. Um, so this is going to be difficult for me to show you. So I'm going to maneuver this around. So if you can see on the bottom, try not to get this on my camera, there are some gold foils that are coming off those things. Um, I have not really found a very good way to really recover the gold off of these things. I know there's you know, relatively speaking, there should be, you know, a decent amount of gold on them. Um, so, 
Right now, I'm just going to filter off this stuff. See what kind of gold that I can get on it. Now, with these little ribbons, yeah, see that there's there's still gold stuck on them. Um, so I'm not sure if I need to just bite the bullet and incinerate them, and then try and get rid of the plastics some other way. Uh, I also had some of those, um, those wires with the gold fingers on the end. Those all came off real easily. So we can discard that. Now again, you're not going to get rich quick by any means. Um, so what I'm going to do, it's been, uh, it's actually been about a week that these have been soaking. So I'm going to filter out whatever little gold foils I have in that already. And then I'm going to pour that AP back in here um, and let it sit for probably another week. I'm not in a rush. All right, so if any of you folks have um, found a, a really good method of recovering the gold from these, please let me know. Put it in the comment section, send me a message. Uh, that way we can show everyone else how to do it. Um, I think at this point, what I might try to do is just um, submerge them all in um, HCL and bleach and just try and dissolve all the metal that way. Uh, it's pretty much just gonna be gold and copper. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to purify it by just you know precipitating it a few times. Um, but you know we'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that, that first, not too many foils came off on that first round. So that's it. All right, so this is the end of that video that I started for um, recovery of gold from uh, printer ribbons. So what I, I, I put in a couple of different things in here. Uh, this is an AP solution. The, um, the wire ends, things like this, um, where they had, you know, like, looked like little fingers of, of gold on the ends of the wire. Those came off really well in the AP. Um, but the printer ribbon, and the, the ink cartridge ribbons, not so much. I mean, some parts of them did, but there's still a lot of gold left in there. So if you want to try and recover that gold, I don't suggest using the AP method. So essentially, this is you know, a semi-failed experiment. Um, Oh, get off! Get off! There we go. Um, so, again, you know, the, the little fingers, the little wire ends, um, you can see a bunch of them at the bottom there. I don't know if you can back down there. The gold came off of them real, real easily. I mean, there is some gold floating in the water, which is, you know, nice. Um, but still a lot of it is left on there. So now I'm going to have to, you know, rinse this all off and, and go through each one and, uh, pull all these out and try and figure out another way to process them. Um, I'm hoping that I can do it without incineration because, I don't know, I think I'm going to end up making a bigger mess that way. I don't think nitric will dissolve these things, but I don't know, maybe we'll try it. So that's that. All right, so again for the uh, in, uh, ink, printer ink cartridge ribbons, um, this is a failed experiment, so do not suggest using AP. Uh, however, the gold-plated wire ends works well. So if you want to just you know, put all those in with your trimmed fingers uh, that you get from you know like um, PCI cards and RAM sticks and stuff like that, I don't see any problem in doing that. I don't think that any um, yeah I don't think it'll cause any problems. So that's it. So again, <clears throat> this is my experimentation with this. I don't recommend that you guys try this at home. It's probably not going to work for you. Um, best thing for you to probably do is to send it to a professional refiner, especially for small time. Uh, trim fingers, yeah, those are easy. Um, that, that's pretty much the only refining, that, or only recovery and refining that I do. Um, I have been dabbling a little bit in IC chips, um, but not successfully enough to make a video. Um, I suppose I could show you a video of my failures because, you know, that's how Edison invented the bulb. Be safe. Thanks for watching. See you all later. 
Hey folks, so quick note, um, I don't know if you've checked out uh, that channel that I mentioned in one of my past video, uh, Gil Skills. Uh, there's a link down here. He's having an awesome tool giveaway right now. So if you uh, subscribe here and then subscribe to his channel uh, and comment, <coughs> you can get entered to win some wire strippers. All right, so if you want to win a wire stripper, go ahead and check out uh, the Gil Skills channel. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and uh, that's it. That's really all there is. So he's got um, a few hundred dollars worth of wire strippers that he's giving out. So make sure you check it out. And uh, see you all later.